So, as you're already aware of the recent news of the groundbreaking, football breaking, life breaking, club breaking, Jose Mourinho breaking Super League, European Super League has been released in the last 24 hours. Yo, it's me, Big North. Do you want the best player on the game? Well, you can't get Dimani because he's probably not in FIFA. So, get Phil Bosley. Get all the Phil Bosley. So, if you're looking for the best way to get coins, don't spend fewer points. Go over to useandbuy.com for the cheapest place on the market for your coins. Use code VISIT at checkout and most importantly, enjoy the video. I've seen my thoughts and opinions on this. If you haven't, that link will be down below in the description. I've done my entire 20 minute long video about it so if you are interested in that and my thoughts about this entire thing go check that video out but for today's second video i've got to do this because i think this would be really interesting as it's very recent news let's put it in effect let's take the 12 founding members of this european super league put them in a league that you cannot get relegated and let's see what really happens let's say that we put arsenal Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Barcelona, Inter, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, AC Milan, Juventus, Real Madrid and Spurs in a 12-team league, which is of course the Scottish Premiership. There's no relegation, they just stay there forever, okay? And let's see in this world what happens when they face each other. So let's take 10 years do an experiment and let's see how exciting this could be in an imaginary world. Alongside this Super League, I'm going to put the Premier League as if all the top six left and we promote the top six of the championship upwards. So Bournemouth now in the Premier League. Barnsley, Brentford now in the Premier League. Norwich, of course, they're up anyway. Sheffield United, they stay up because... I mean, there's no point in sending them down if, there's a, if it's a completely new league. Void the entire season. Swansea, Watford, also in the Premier League. So we're going to keep an eye on this as well to see what would happen in a Premier League world without the top six alongside the Super League. If you guys do enjoy, smash the like button. Let's hit 2,000 likes and also subscribe if you're new. We've actually yesterday hit a quarter of a million subscribers, which is nuts. So let us begin with this amazing incredible experiment here. All right, so up the fog, Dad. I'm going to be taking control of Bolton here so I can see the entirety of everything plan out here. Here we go. So season one, of course, let's double check here that through this, I can only see, you know, what actually happens at the end of the season for the league table. That's the, re that's the real point of this. I can still see transfers through the transfer history, but the real point of this is really to see each year what will be the end league table. So these are all 12 teams here. So let's sim all the way to end of the year and let's get through season one. Okay, so we're now at the end of season one. Bolton, the mighty Bolton, 14th place in league one. That is absolutely shocking. Must I say, you don't care, do you? Let's just get into the Premier League. Let's, let's do Premier League first so we can see what the world would be like if there is no top six in the Prem. Who would win it? Let's find out. So Premier League, Without the top six, the winners in season one, I guess it's Leicester, it's Leicester City. Leicester City have won the league by four points. Everton, 83 points. Wolves, 77 points. And West Ham, 72. That's, that's pretty... That's pretty spot on, I would say. That's pretty spot on. Um, only three losses for Leicester all year. Um, a lot of draws, though. So top four, West Ham and Wolves. Everton are in the Champions League. Leeds in the Europa League. Southampton sixth. Burnley eighth. I'll take that, boys. Um, Watford are 11th. West Brom, seventh. Pretty surprising, I would say. Um, Newcastle, 12th. You would say that maybe that's a bit poor for them. Brighton as well. Maybe even Palace. Brentford, stay up. So does Bournemouth. So does Swansea. And that means that... Of course, Norwich goes down, as they always do. Sheffield United goes down, and so does Barnsley. Barnsley. Millwall. Millwall won the league by 99 points. And Millwall are, in fact, in the Premier League. So, so is Boa. They're back up there. And, um, yeah, Derby's doing alright. So, in Season 1 of the European Super League, the winners are Real Madrid with 66 points. Four points ahead of Manchester City, second place, Liverpool, third place, and Juventus, fourth. Spurs, seventh. United, eighth. Arsenal, ninth. So Arsenal is actually not made at the bottom. Barcelona, tenth place. Chelsea, eleventh. And at the bottom 
is AC Milan. AC Milan may not be much of a surprise, but Barcelona, 10th place, is really surprised. And also Chelsea as well. Grid winning it. I guess that should be expected. Same thing as City, but Barca. Wow. The one thing I want to try and see what will happen here is where we see the same teams at the top and where we see the same teams at bottom. Okay, boys, season two. Now, I, in fact, am now a target because I got sacked. No surprises right there. Doesn't matter because I'm still surviving. So, let's get stuck into season two here. Premier League with no top six. Leicester won it last year. Who wins it this year? Is it back-to-back? -back? It's not back-to-back. -back. Wolverhampton Wanderers has won the Premier League by one point. West Ham, Leicester, Crystal Palace, who I believe were like 11 for like 13th last year, in fact made it to top four. Palace went from 14th, 13th, to fourth place. That is amazing to see that. Uh, but Leicester, West Ham, Wolves still in the top three. Everton, fifth place. Burnley, seventh place. There's actually not many points in between it, not gonna lie. Like, between like fifth and first, sure, there's a few points there, but for the five for top four, it seemed like it'd be quite interesting, to be fair. Newcastle, you would think that they'll be doing a bit better here, but they're seemingly being a bit poor still. Brentford stay up, Burst stays up, Bournemouth stay up. That means that Millwall, so Nottingham Forest went up for the playoffs. Swansea go down, and also Millwall, who won the league by 99 points last season, go down by 16 points. That is a bit of a shocker. Bournemouth stays up on the final day on the same points but they stay up by goal difference what a end to the season that is quick little look at championship and um, sheffield united back up cardiff up and um, that is the top six right there the super league real madrid won it last year city second place and at the bottom was in fact ac milan has anything changed here not really other than the fact that spurs and barcelona have finished a lot higher up but Look at the points gap here. City won the league with 71 points, only lost twice. Barcelona lost 12 games and still came fourth place. That is incredible. I That is mental to look at. Um, in terms of the bottom part, Chelsea, who were 11th, is now 5th. Barca, who were, I believe, 10th, is now 4th. So it's kind of swapped round here. At the bottom is still AC Milan. They're still doing quite poorly. Um, they're really struggling here. But there has been a quite large change in the middle. However, at the top, it stayed the same. Madrid and City. And at the bottom is Milan. Season 3, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see if anything has changed here now. I'm going to do each season. It's like season 5. So season 3, 4 and 5. And then I'll skip all the way to season 10. And we'll see where things are there. So, again, let's begin. Into the Premier League. It's gone from Leicester to Wolves. And in Season 3, it's Everton. So, new winners each season. We love to see it. And again, seems like a pretty decent fight here. Leicester, only five points off them. But still being relatively the same top four. Which is a bit surprising. I thought we'd see a bit more new teams. I mean, Newcastle actually being decent this year for once. They're very similar kind of teams that's doing well now. Um, Burnley in top 10. Let's go. Um, West Brom, Brighton. Brighton are really struggling. They've been down in like 14th, 15th the entire time. And let's see who's gone down. Brentford are down. Cardiff are down. And so are Middlesbrough. Cardiff and Burr really not having fun there. And on to the Super League. Is it Madrid? Is it City? It's Liverpool. Ooh, that is that is surprising. And it looks a lot more closer than what it has been previously, actually. It looks a lot more closer, actually, which is surprising. Liverpool, first place. Level on points with Inter Milan, of all teams as well, which is come out of nothing. I swear Inter were, like, near the bottom. I think they were 11th last year, right? I'm pretty sure they were 11th into Milan. That is one thing that I am surprised about. I thought it'd be just pure Man City, Real Madrid dominance the entire time, but that is definitely something. And at the bottom, it's no longer AC Milan, it's now Spurs. Tottenham Hotspur only three wins all season and not having fun there. This is life when Harry Kane is gone. And Barcelona, seventh place. United still being quite bang average so far, but this is what it looks like 
in a Super League world in season three. I am now managing Grimsby because I'm just that good. Season four, let's see what happens here. We all have a pretty good idea, but maybe something may surprise us here. Premier League. Wow. It's really kind of... Wait, there's one team missing. Leicester. Oh, wait, Leicester's in sixth place now. Fulham, top five. And Leeds have now entered the top four. And it looked like it was a pretty good battle to be in top four between Fulham, Wolves, Leeds, and West Ham. Everton winning the league. The all-round top four, top five has been kind of similar the entire time. Burnley, seventh. Newcastle, eighth. Brentford, ninth. So the kind of original teams that was in Premier League. Other than Brighton, Brighton is still 14th. They've been 14th. 13th the entire time. They just can't get out of that. That's really strange. Even Palace have been high up with them. That's very... And even Southampton, they've been really poor. Um, downwards, West Brom, 16th. Sheffield, United staying up. And that means that Swansea, Blackburn Rovers, hey! And um, Stoke City go down with only two wins to their name. And back to the European Super League. Anything changed here? And it is City winning. However... A new surprising team here to really fight for it, and that is Manchester United. They've actually reached pretty high up now for the first time in four seasons, uh, being four points off the title. Barca third place, Liverpool fourth, Madrid fifth, and also Juventus sixth place. AC Milan, are they at the bottom course? They are 12 points, one win, one win to AC Milan's name. Arsenal, Spurs, Chelsea, really not having fun here. Um... Chelsea, I don't think I've seen them actually have a really good year yet. They've been, I believe, no higher than 7th or 8th the entire time. So they're really struggling here. Uh, Arsenal, I believe, even Spurs had some times maybe higher up. But really struggling for Chelsea here. But AC Milan, they're, they're probably kind of wishing that they didn't enter this. Because I don't think they've been higher than 11th for 4 years. So... Good luck if you're an AC Milan fan. Season 5, and this is the last one we'll see until we go all the way to Season 10. So, Grimsby, and my poor, poor Grimsby, um, 19. By the way, in 2024, Haaland, Sancho, João um, Cancelo is in fact at Dortmund, as you can see right there. Champions League, Dortmund are Champions League winners. The world without the top six, the world without the European Super League. Without all these teams, Dortmund are reigning supreme and you'll love to see it. Proper football clubs. Proper football clubs. Let's have a look again at the Premier League. Five seasons in. Is it a new team? And it's going to be Everton doing a double. Fulham sneaking into the top four. And also Newcastle being fifth place. I can't see... There's a team missing here, Leeds. Leeds dropped, Leeds dropped quite low down here. Leeds in ninth place. West Ham, who's usually up there in seventh. And where's Burnley? We're 12th, we're fine. Brighton still 14. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I swear Brighton have been 14th the entire time. Like in every single season, for five seasons, Brighton have been 14th. At least for the last three. Maybe they were 13th, I'm not too sure. But they've been 14th, 13th every season for the last five seasons. This is dumb. <laughs> All right. Um, so was Southampton, actually. They've been really poor as well. They've been very low down. Um, and downwards is Swansea, Forest, and Millwall with five points. Super League, season five now. And anything new here. And it's gone back to normal. Manchester City and Madrid are at top of it. Oh my god, man. City and Real Madrid dominating, which is kind of what we expected there. Man United, who were like second last year, nowhere in the top eight. So it seems really like very up and down. No Chelsea, but Spurs are seventh though, to be fair to them. Um, Chelsea ninth place. I think that's the highest finish so far. United from second to tenth. Milan's no longer bottom, and that means that it is Arsenal with 16 points. Yeah. Um... Arsenal um, probably regretting this choice. Here we go, season 10. We're now in 2030. And let's see if anything looks very vastly different now. So let's go to the League 2. You know all those um, Scottish teams that I put? Um, well, Livingston's now 19th here in League 2. And there's Motherwell down here. And there's also... Um, actually, it's only those two. So the other teams are actually still in League One, to be fair to them. Let's get into the Premier League, okay? In 2030, is there a new team to win it over the top four? 
it will be it's wolves which is common however there's a big difference now number one being brighton who's been 14th the entire time finally has done well but there's a big difference in points from first place wolves to second place fulham which is quite surprising um norwich being sixth place that's the first time we've seen them this high up burnley for in a while is now back up in the top eight west brom in eighth place west ham are doing well so are leeds and wolves where's everton they've currently ninth place next up aston villa watford leicester city are 12th they've gone pretty low down now to 12th place sheffield united 13th blackburn rovers has maintained premier league status here and a 14th place bournemouth 15th brentford 16th southampton almost going down Jesus, and then relegated in 2030 is Newcastle United, Bristol City, and Swansea City. So this is what the Premier League could look like if there is no top six teams in it. Fulham being second. That's very surprising. And so Brighton as well. Um, championship, any, nothing, anything new here? Um, oh my Jesus. Rotherham United are in the Premier League. Rotherham. Rotherham are in the Premier League, boys. That is absolutely beautiful. Millwall, who won the league by a mile, are now 13th. They've had a really, like, very wacky couple of years. Um, Sutherland are still here. They've not come. They've not gone in Premier League. Maybe they, one day they will. Maybe one day they'll be up there. And um, Derby um, gone down. Peterborough gone down. Dundee gone down. In League One, let's have a quick look here. Um, Colchester winning the league. Um, Shrewsbury third place. St. Johnstone fourth place. Aki second place as well. Fleetwood Town sixth. Um, any surprise here? Portsmouth are still in League One. That's a bit of a shocker there, really. Um, and let, let's go. Up, let's go have a look at the actual Super League here. The Super League to end it off after ten years. Is it Arsenal or is it Chelsea or is it City or? Real Madrid, the typical ones. Let's find out. In Season 10, it's still City and Real Madrid. After all these years, it's still the same two teams at the top. A few different changes. I believe it was um, Liverpool that actually won it once, but it's still dominated by the same two teams. So even in this imaginary world that it's still dominant with the same two, three teams each season. Um, Chelsea. Seven for the awful ones. And at the bottom, it is Arsenal and AC Milan, who's, I'm going to guess, not had a lot of fun. So this is our experiment, 10 seasons with the European Super League and what it may look like. Someone said, look at Spain and Italy. Um, I can have a little look. And Real Sociedad, um, top. Actually, look at that. Joint top with Villarreal winning on goal difference. So this is what La Liga may look like without the top three. And the same thing for Serie A. Anything new here? Um, I mean, Rangers are fourth. They're doing well, actually. But pretty expected Napoli being first place. There you go, boys. That is what if the European Super League actually happened. You guys know my thoughts and opinions on this. It's an absolute joke, as we all know. And literally anything could happen here, boys. Anything could happen. Well, lads, this is the video. Smash the like button as you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for a quarter of a million subscribers. And I'll see you all very soon, boys. Enjoy.